Hello and welcome to Engineering Christmas Tutorial. In this video we will create a parametric Christmas bulb using sign distance field. Before we get started, let's go over a few things you will need for this tutorial. First of all, make sure you have Rhino installed. Secondly, you will need Axoto, which is a plugin for Grasshopper. All the links you will find in the description below. You will also need a basic understanding of principles and techniques of uh, parametric modeling, which you could get on Engineering online courses, DM us in Instagram for more information. And now, let's start with the tutorial. Let's open Rhino and let's start Grasshopper. Now I will maximize perspective view and I will find axolotl plugin here it is in grasshopper so from this plugin i will need just a few components so first one i will use a uh, tpmc p which means a triple periodic uh, surface uh, then since we're making a bulb i will use a sphere as the initial shape with the radius of something about um, let's say 40 millimeters let me turn on components names very well centering the uh, center of coordinates it's fine and let's intersect this uh, two components using boolean intersect from axolotl uh, we can't see anything uh, in rhino viewport yet because uh, it's just a function it's not an actual geometry but we'll need to con uh, convert one to another using one of these uh, meshing components. Let's say uh, marching groups parallel it will work well. I connect a distant object uh, to the input and we can already see something. We can clearly see the uh, geroid appears but it's not exactly what we wanted to achieve. So I will go ahead and um, create a bounding box for my sphere. For that I will make an actual sphere and create bounding box around it. Or I can do it in a different way. I will use the main box like this. And then I will create a domain from minus 40. No, let's say we're going to use this 40 and this 40. And for the first input, I'll right click on A, go to expression and I write minus X. That will give me the negative number of what I'm putting. And I connect this to all three uh, inputs of the main box. And then I connect box to the marching cubes. Okay, here we go. We've got our geomet uh, geometry in a spherical form, which is good. Uh, let's work on it a bit more. So if I want more resolution of my sphere, 
I will uh, change an X and Y and, a, and Z inputs. Let's put something like 80 for each of them. The more resolution you put, uh, the slower uh, components works. Okay, good, but it's clearly we have uh, two tiny geroids inside. So I will need to increase the wavelength of the geroid. I'll put something around 20. And we can see the geometry more clearly. Also, we can change the uh, polarity. Now we have uh, six axes, but we can increase it to something like 12. Okay, great. Uh, one more important thing to do here is um, to get a proper mesh out of the uh, marching cube component. So I right click on the refine and I say invert. So it was false, now it's true and it outputting the uh, proper mesh. It takes a little bit more time to compute but uh, the result it is much more clear. Uh, let's use a custom preview. And I will change the viewport mode to Arctic. And turn off the preview of marching cubes component. Okay, now we can play with the shapes. Let's say I don't want geroid. I want something more interesting, maybe double geroid, which gives me the shape, a nicer shape. Uh, maybe I would like to go with double diamond. Let's decrease a little bit the uh, wavelengths. Now let's increase a little bit of wavelengths. Oh yeah, I like this one. I will bake one. Right click on the component, bake, select a layer, and press OK. And now I have nice mesh right in Rhino. This shape clearly can be 3D printed without any problem. Okay, now let's try something else. Uh, let's, instead of Boolean intersect, we could use um, Boolean difference. Or boolean subtract and also let's try double geroid it's gonna be tricky to 3d print uh, this shape but i think it's still manageable if you tweak a bit the resolution Something like this. Uh, if you don't like the edges here, as you see, they might be uh, a little bit uneven. You could either increase the resolution or you can try to smooth uh, the, um, uh, the whole shape. I want one more Christmas bulb. Uh, to create. Let's try something else this time. Instead of double geroid I will use... Uh, let's try different thing. For example, new obvious minimal surface.
Oh, this one looks good. I think I'll bake it as well. And that's it! You have successfully created a parametric 3D model of a festive Christmas bulb. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and uh, that you would had fun creating your own Christmas bulb model. If you have any question or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you require a grasshopper course, please DM us on Instagram. So feel free to play around with the bulb model and see what different design you can come with. Thank you for watching and happy modeling!